Salutations, fine people of Earth! As many of you know, Chimere is a speculative biology project that is actively in progress. As I revise and refine aspects of this project, changes to the canon are inevitable. I've been debating for some time on when to disclose the most significant revision, but as I've just finished the first editing pass of my novel, The Lost Hellfighter, now seems an appropriate time for such an announcement. Chimere has a new apex predator. Behold the Garricky Unicorn. This monstrous beast is a large bipedal predatory ungulate. Weighing up to 18 tons and standing 20 feet tall, before accounting for their up to 15 foot horn, this giant can handle anything in the known world. They are found in every ecosystem, from the Titan Gardens to the wetlands, on the prairies and the foothills. Only Picardia is safe, for reasons we will address in a moment. When faced with their greatest competition, the Megaraptorans like the Uktan, the Garricky Unicorn won't hesitate to charge. Long legs propel them swiftly, and an impact at 40 miles per hour is more than sufficient to make a Megatheropod wish he'd just been taken out with dignity by the asteroid that concluded his earthly kin. The Garricky Unicorn provides an invaluable service to the biodiversity of Chimere. They are specialists of the hippopotamus. Although hardly a wetland-dedicated species, they mob the seritic marshes in search of these lumps of Tuscan muscle. Some say this is because of their need for protein and the nutrients of hippos' thick skin supporting the growth of their own hide. But in truth, they just love hippos because ending something with the behemoth's reputation is a clear message to the denizens of Chimere about who runs this show. It is said that the first children, an ancient civilization notorious for creating demons and mastering the portal between Earth and Chimere, old accounts say this was the makers of silence on the polar continent of Kai Shell, but the silent ones are boring and I never get any questions about their identity. No, the only thing that the first children feared was the Garricky Unicorn. For similar reasons to their targeting hippos, unicorns hunted down the first children with impunity, relishing the bioelectrical magic that gave these little tater tots a crunchy spice. Some scholars even think they may have hunted the first children to extinction, which, considering the sins of the first children, is definitely for the best. Only the great trickster Indrakai is a worthy opponent of the Garricky Unicorn. The trickster heard of their devastation on other continents. As the unicorn crossed the inland sea and reached the shore, Indrakai was ready. Indrakai told them of all the Sonjaku hippopotamus in the lowland swamps. But to get there, they had to cross the forest, which had been devastated by a prolonged dry season. Eager for a feast, the unicorns raced to the wetlands. Before they could reach there, however, Indrakai trapped them in a ring of flames. The entire lowland forest was engulfed in a great fire. Most unicorns perished in the flames, and the few who survived only did so because of the magic they had consumed from the first children. They returned whence they came, never again daring to invade the realm of the great trickster. April Fools! Yes, that was just some good silly fun. The Garricky Unicorn is, however, a real reconstruction of some rhinoceros bones that famous German scientist and inventor Otto von Garricky asserted belonged to unicorns in the 1600s. Although a brilliant man by any metric, my dude is attributed to the invention of the vacuum pump, it's fair to say that his understanding of anatomy and reconstruction was somewhat lacking but his idea and steadfast belief made for a charming subject of my April Fool's Day video. Great thanks to John Michael Galero, Jay Stocky on Twitter, for working with me on the artwork for this video. Jay Stocky has a fantastic Hollow Earth project on Twitter that, if you're a fan of Chimere, I bet you'll enjoy. 
I've got a more serious April Fool's Day video coming out shortly, so stay tuned. Have an amazing day. Cheers, folks!